Hey everybody, welcome back to Ticketmaster Studios. I'm Dave Archer. This is our series where we take a look at some of these players that could be relevant for the Falcons in the draft this year. Not necessarily at eight in the early on, but maybe even drifting in that second, third round. Today we're going to look at the defensive tackles, the big eaters. These are the guys that are hard to move off the football, and these gentlemen were all of that. Let's start with Byron Murphy, the second out of Texas. 6'1", 297 pounds, ran 4'8", 740 at that size, 28 on the bench, outstanding size, quickness, and toughness. But at 23, 29 tackles, he had five sacks, eight tackles for loss. What's that tell you? He was in your backfield. And some of these tape, some of the tape here you're going to see, it shows you his ability to penetrate and make plays. Elite level quickness, power, and, and explosiveness. He has a relentless motor, plays all the time. You're not going to get a playoff. He has quick hands. He creates advantage with blockers and has a, vi a wide variety of attacks. He can attack in different ways. You see him making a ton of plays up front. He can be overwhelmed by size. He's not a gigantic defensive tackle and can be overwhelmed by size from time to time. But again, we're nitpicking a little bit here. Jerzon Newton, 6'2", 304 out of Illinois, goes by Johnny. Well, Johnny in the last two years has been a force. 114 tackles, 13 sacks, 22 and a half tackles for loss in just his last 25 games. He was a first team All-American. You can see by the tape here, sudden powerful player with heavy hands. When he puts them on you, you feel it. He has outstanding foot quickness for his size and his ability to penetrate and get onto the quarterback. He has that effort that you like to see every play. He's a very skilled at both run and pass, which is good for defensive tackles. You don't have to take him off the football field. Can get a little bit uh, overwhelmed with size, much like we talked about with Murphy, but still a guy that's extremely active and constantly coming. Braden Fisk, 6'4", 292 out of Florida State by way of Western Michigan. Played four years at Western Michigan and then transferred to Florida State and was outstanding for one of the best defenses in the country. Ran 4 7 8, 40 and 26 reps in the bench. Again, some quickness with some power at combination there in 2023 at 43 tackles, the defensive tackle position and six sacks. He plays with what I like to call a last play mentality. He is all out on every play, explodes out of his stance. He's heavy handed, much like all these guys are. He's got excellent short area quickness and foot and foot speed. Secondary moves need some polish. He needs to work on some of that stuff as he brings his game to the National Football League level. But make no mistake, this guy was a difference maker in that Seminole defensive front. Chris Jenkins, 6'3", 299 pounds, the national champion Michigan Wolverines. He ran 4'9", at the 40, another sub-5 40-yard dash by these gigantic players. 29 reps in the bench. This is a guy that will put his hands on you and make him feel. Again, powerful player. Last two years, 91 tackles. He had four and a half sacks, eight tackles for loss. The big thing here I want to point out, captain. This is something that Terry Fontenot has talked about in the recent years about captains and what they come, the mentality they bring to the table from a leadership standpoint, a willing to jump in and work your rear on eat, rear end off each and every day. That's what Chris Jenkins is. Comes from great genes. His dad was a four-time all uh, four-time Pro Bowler two-time All-Pro, so his game has got some maturity to it. He's got excellent game speed, hustle, energy, the things you're looking for from a defensive tackle with a relentless uh, idea. He plays with a plan, which tells you he spent a lot of time with his dad thinking about how to do different secondary moves. He's got that ability, had a great playoff run against Bama and against Washington to lead his team, help lead his team to a national championship. Struggles a little bit to get off his spot, struggles with double teams, and a lot of these guys will. These double teams that come off against the National Football League needs to drop that anchor a little bit more. But Chris Jenkins is going to be an outstanding find for someone in the draft. Travandre Sweat, you want to talk about an anchor. No one has an anchor bigger than this guy. 6'5", 366 pounds out of Texas. Was a big part of that Murphy-Sweat combination in the interior of a really good defense for Texas this year. In 2023, 45 tackles for the big fella, two sacks and eight tackles for loss. This young man won the Outland Trophy as the best man along the line of scrimmage on either side. He was a first team All-American. And I don't need to tell you this, just watch the tape. This is a big, powerful dude. He just destroys the point of attack. Very difficult to move off of his spot. And for his size, a 6'5", three, over 360 pounds, he's got excellent feet. He's got, he rarely gets knocked to the ground. He's constantly in action and moving. Now, the quickness from side to side 
can cause him a problem from time to time. This is not a three down player. This is probably a more of a two down player, first and second down, probably gonna sub him out in passing situations, but a dominant defensive front type player. Other guys you might want to take a look at, Mason Smith, LSU, will be a guy that comes off the board in the first two days of the draft. Darius Robinson from Missouri and Brandon Dorless from Oregon, a couple other guys to take a look at. Just some guys in that heavy position, the big eaters in the interior that could affect the Atlanta Falcons the first couple days of the draft.